Yo, what's up guys? Anubhav here. Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. It's the first week of June and you guys know what are you guys here for? These are some of the best Android applications that you should download for the month of June 2023. Let's not waste any time. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to never miss another future update on a video like this. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Alright guys, so the first application on today's list goes by the name of Relens and this is going to be a really cool application for all you aspiring photographers out there, especially if you use your phone to click photos or edit them. Now, I was a little skeptical while reading the description of this application because, you know, it aimed to give you blurry background and use AI to identify the subject and let you switch from different sorts of lens styles, etc. But once I downloaded the application, I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of functionality and the way that it actually works. So when you open up the application for the first time, you'll have two sections, either the ability to go ahead and edit photos from the editing tool or get a full pro camera, which is inside this application where you can customize everything. As you can see, whether it is the exposure, the shutter speed, white balance, focus, everything you can customize. You can also go to video options over here and give it the necessary permissions, monitor the audio levels, the aspect ratio, the quality, etc, etc. But that is not where the good part ends because the main part is in the photo editing section. Once you go into the photo editing section, you'll have a lot of templates and a lot of normal photos to choose from. Let me just choose uh, this photo over here. Once you select the photo, make sure you have a subject in it. The AI bot is going to recognize that subject and then you're going to be getting a lot of uh, options to play with. First things first, you can change the aperture at which the photo was shot. So whether it is f20 where the background is totally in focus or it is in f2 where you know have the most uh, blurry background out there. Also, you can go ahead and change the flare of the bokeh, the shape of the bokeh, which I think is really cool. You can also go to the lens section and over here you can select different sorts of uh, effects that you know would look like if you were using that particular lens. It basically also gives you a nice little description of what that lens basically creates and then you can use these sorts of effects which I think is really really cool. I was really uh, you know surprised by the amount of options out here. You can go to color lab also add different filters that are from different cameras. Go to frame set up a frame and uh, you know add a watermark or not add watermark. There's also a cool 3D depth map which basically shows you where the photo you know recognizes which is the subject and how much is the depth you can also adjust the depth map view it either in 3d or in 2d overall i think it's a really cool application and the fact that it's free and most of the features are also free makes it a must try so definitely be sure to check it out at number two guys we've got a really cool widget application and it goes by the name of widget now, you know, we've all used Zuper Widget. Now we have shifted to KWGT. It's so fresh to come across an application that does not require KWGT in order to create good high quality widgets and is also easy to get into. You open up the application, you will have a lot of options from music playing widgets to clock widgets to calendar widgets or to device info widgets. Click on any widget like this material design clock that you have. You can select the colors from this color view here, adjust the transparency. Obviously adjust the few specifics like, you know, how the hour hand or the second hand would look, the different type of functionalities you can change within the clock. You can also make it so that it directly takes the color palette from your current wallpaper. This is also a good thing if you're trying to get that material you look. Once you are done, just hit on add to home screen and you will be greeted with the option to add it through your home screen. And once you go home, you can see the widget has been added. Now it's a live widget. You can go ahead and resize it, place it anywhere you want. If you click on it, you again go back to the settings where you can edit the specifics in case you want a different look. The app is completely free and there are just so many options to choose from. I really liked this one. After so long, you don't have to use KWGT. And for people who don't want to spend money, just want to make their home screen look good. I think this is a great app. Definitely be sure to check it out. Alright guys, before we proceed any further, let's talk about today's video sponsor, IZ. Now, you know, in today's day and age where a lot of our kids or our brothers and sisters have access to smartphones and the internet, it becomes extremely important that we protect them from websites that either they shouldn't visit or that are a threat to their privacy. IZ is an awesome parental control application that has been around for a long time and you can use this to, you know, track the data 
or basically track the mobile phone activities of what your spouse or your employee or your children are doing. Installing IZ is super simple. All you have to do is go to their website from the link in the description below. Once you do, you can go ahead and create an account and select a plan that suits your functionality. You can download their app on the Android platform as well or on iOS and you can check out how everything looks. Once you're done with that, the way you set up phone monitoring on the other device is also super simple. There are step-by-step -step instructions that you can follow along with video guides from their end as well or you can see on the screen how to set it up. It's super simple and once you have set up this application on the phone that you want to track, you can go ahead and see a lot of their information. Now, I would like to highlight a couple of features that are really, really good in IZ. The first one is Keylogger, which basically means that you can see everything that the person types on the tracked phone on the Keylogger app for Android. This tool is going to show you when and which app the conversation took place in. And you can also do this on iPhone, but it's only available for jailbroken iOS devices. So that is something to keep in mind. Another feature that is really cool is the screen recording option that IZ has. You have a visual representation of the conversations exactly as they happened and even if you know the person deletes a message that you have a screenshot of it lives on thanks to the iz screen recorder there's also location tracking because it's equally important to understand or know the whereabouts of where your child is if you want to keep track of them you can go ahead and view their location histories and uncover suspicious locations and of course there's a phone analyzer where you can figure out who they called and see who called them there's also messenger monitoring for popular applications like WhatsApp, Instagram and Kik. And you can also keep an eye on their social media accounts like Instagram and Facebook. Overall, I have to say if you're a concerned parent and you want a good parental control monitoring application, look no further than IZ. Be sure to check out the first link in the description below. And with that said, let's get back to the next application. All right, guys, next up, we've got a pretty cool Android application called Saver Tuner. And Saver Tuner is an incredible Android app for so many reasons. First off, you know, when we put our devices in power saving mode, there are not a lot of options that we can configure in most Android devices. On One UI, yes, you get a couple of extra features like turning on always on display, like turning off always on display, uh, limiting CPU power, etc, etc. But this is an application that takes that to the next level. Once you install it, you have to give it an ADB command that you can do it either through wireless ADB on your phone or by connecting your phone to your computer and entering the command. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and turn on different profiles. First is the default one, which is the default battery saver settings. Next, you have a light, which is marginal conversion of battery power, which barely affects the user experience. Then you've got moderate, high and extreme. Now over here, you can also set up different configurations like enabling data saver, launch boost, vibrations, etc, etc. Overall, this is just a really nice application to control the amount of aggressiveness that your battery saver turns on to or relies on when you want to save that extra bit of battery. Be sure to check it out. Oh, it's also open source, so no ads and no threat to your privacy. With that said, guys, the next application on the list goes by the name of Flow Launcher and this has to be my favorite productivity based launcher after Ratio. Now, once you open up the launcher, you will see that it is very similar to Ratio other than a couple of easier to use, easier to get used to features. For example, you have a black home screen as you can see. On the middle, you can add your favorite applications. At the bottom, you've got a timer. You've got a button for focus mode, which basically turns on a Pomodoro timer if you want to work. You can swipe up to access the app drawer or you can click on this up button. It does the same thing. Then you can go to your messages or to your calls. On the top, you've got a screen time widget, the date and the time etc etc once you swipe on the right you will actually find a feed where you can customize different widgets and add or remove them you can add tasks you can add events there's also another screen time widget that shows how much time you've been spending on any single application you can also go ahead and add different widgets if you go to the settings there are also a couple of customization options like setting up different icons setting up different wallpapers and most of the features are available for free some of them are behind a one-time purchase for unlocking the pro version but even if you're using the free version and you want a very productive experience from your phone this is going to be a really cool application so be sure to check it out all right guys next up is the application where today's wallpaper is from because i knew you guys would ask me about it in the 
the comments below. This is one for Wall. We recently had a look at their KWGT application for different widgets. This is the wallpaper app. And uh, you know, other than the fact that there are more than 500 free wallpapers on this, this is just one of the best wallpaper apps to be made. You can see there's this really nice flowing transition as you swipe through the wallpapers lot of categories from abstract to different uh, you know motivational wallpapers to different sorts of car wallpapers etc all of them are super high resolution if you also get the subscription you can get different kinds of categories like as you can see there are plus there is ultima favorites portraits space etc etc but the free one is also really really nice to try out very well made wallpaper app the wallpaper that i am using is also from this application you can go ahead and download them or directly send them i liked it be sure to check it out with that said guys next up we've got an application called screen dimmer and don't mind the ads in the actual app this is a really useful application especially in times where if you want your android phone to grow below a certain level of brightness and there's nothing you can do after going to minimum brightness this is the application that you should use go ahead and turn it on once it is on you can see the intensity be sure not to go overboard with this because you could make the screen so dark that you won't be able to turn it off which is why i recommend going ahead and starting the shake to turn off one and setting it to the lowest intensity so that even a little shake is going to turn this off so you can set the screen dimmer on make your phone screen even dimmer and as soon as you're done and you want to turn this effect off just go ahead and shake your phone and screen dimmer is going to be turned off. It is a really handy application that you can use, especially if you use your phone late at night and you want your screen to be as less bright as possible. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is a very nice mental health application called Inside Journal. Now, what makes this application different from other journal apps is the fact that it actually uses something similar to AI or GPT language module where whatever you write in your gratitude journal, the AI reads that, scans it, gives you a very nice reply and you know, what more can you be grateful for? So you can go to the daily reflection section, go ahead and talk about how you are feeling, then write something of what you're making progress on, etc. or what you're feeling about and the application goes ahead and tells you more about what the things are. And it's like having your own AI therapist in your pocket. There's also a lot of other functions like you can go ahead and write a travel journal, read stuff about psychology, about different categories that you might be interested in. Overall, it's just a really cool application that gives you more information about authors, about how you should look at life and also a place where you can journal and pen down your thoughts about how everything is going on. Uh, very underrated in my opinion, definitely be sure to check it out. Next up, we've got a really cool productivity application called Keep Link. A lot of times we copy links and share them, but we have no proper place to store them. Keep Link is an Android application that is gonna let you do just that. You can go ahead and click on the plus icon, create different categories like I have created one for YouTube over here. Whenever you want to share a link, all you have to do is go to that app, the link that you want to copy, go ahead and hit on the share button, select keep link over here. You can select different notes, add different categories and the link will be saved like I have over here. You can directly open up the link whenever you want to for future use. Super helpful. You can create different categories for different kinds of links that you might have used for later. Be sure to check it out. Last but not the least, guys, we've got probably the best downloading videos application ever. This is called Scene. It's an open source Android application. Now, you can use this to download YouTube videos or Instagram Reels or basically any video from the internet. Go ahead and paste the video link here and then you can configure different downloading options like the resolution, the bitrate, whether you want to download just the audio or just the video. Whenever you're playing that video, hit on the share icon, select seal from the share apps list and hit on quick download and the downloaded file will be saved to your gallery. It is really cool and it is super fast and super secure. Be sure to check it out. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, this was it for today's 10 Android app video for June 2023. If you guys did like this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon so you don't miss out on amazing videos like this in the future. And uh, yeah, be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube. I'll catch you guys next time. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. Bye-bye and peace out.